Hey guys, so today's video, I just wanted to give you an idea of how cheap it can be to feed guinea pigs. So this is essentially feeding guinea pigs on a budget. Um, so I just wanted to go through what I've got the boys for the week. So firstly, first thing I got was carrots. So this is obviously way too much for them to have in one week. I could save this and it would probably last for up to three weeks, um, but I eat them. So I'll just include the whole bag's price. So these are $2. You can also get mini carrots, which is still a kilo and it's only $1.50. So $2 for carrots and they will last a long time. The second thing is baby cos. So this is huge. This is actually a larger one that I usually get. Um, usually they're a little bit smaller. So I just have the one for the week and it is $2. And then we have cucumber. So for a standard cucumber, and by the way, most of this stuff is from Woolworths. I do have a couple things from the market, but this is mo mostly supermarket prices, which is generally more expensive. Um, so a standard cucumber is $2.50. This is what they call the odd bunch. So it is a strange shape, apparently. Um, not a standard size or shape, so they are cheaper. So I think this was $2.00. Potentially even only a dollar eighty, and this will last them pretty much the whole week. Um, you can also, which is what I also do, is buy these. So these are baby cucumbers. It's a two hundred and fifty gram pack, and it's only two dollars fifty. They look like this. These are from last week, and they're still actually really good. Um, and sometimes they go on special too, so you can get them like as low as a dollar fifty, which is crazy. And then basically my holy grail guinea pig food item is fennel. A lot of people don't know what fennel is or use it, um, but it is really good. It's actually quite high in vitamin C, which as you know, is great for guinea pigs. Um, basically what you do with fennel is you can feed them the whole thing. So this was $2.50. So what I do first is I feed them these little sparse parts, which is sort of the herb part. So I'll break all those off and feed it. After I've done that, I'll start working on the stalk. So it's kind of like a celery. So I just give them a little bit of that. And then after that, we go to the bulb. So I start feeding them the white part. So this will probably last about a week and a half to two weeks. I find that it starts going a bit funny after a week and a half. Uh, and then I usually just throw like half of the bulb out because that's usually what's left. But for $2.50, like that is really good considering you can use pretty much all of it. And then this is sort of a more expensive item that I've chosen or more expensive way to do it, but I'm obsessed with these buckets. So these are just snacking tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes. They, this bucket is 450 grams and it is $5. It's probably way too much for the guinea pigs, but I eat most of these. So that's why I get it this way. Um, but you can also, this is from last week, but Sometimes I get them the Solonado tomatoes, which I'll show you what they look like. Just small little tomatoes. And these are usually $3 a punnet. So this is 200 grams. So this is way better like value for money. Um, but this is also good too. And then the last thing. So these aren't from the supermarket. These are from the market. So these are not, they're organic, but they're not certified organic. So they're no chemicals, no spray, no pesticides, anything like that. And this tray, which are hu two huge capsicums, is $3, which is crazy. It's way cheaper than supermarket price. Um, so that'll be them for the week. So pretty much you could do it differently and just do like lettuce, some carrot and some capsicum and not worry about the rest or lettuce, some cucumber and some capsicum. You don't have to do it this way, but I find that this is really good for variety. So basically everything that I've showed you that I bought for them, I only came to $12.50, which is crazy because it's at least a whole week's worth of food, but things like the carrots, the fennel, um, they're all gonna last me longer than a week and the tomatoes. So it's a really good, really easy and affordable um, and you're still giving them that variety. So there's a couple little things that I also do to give them extra variety and sort of not pay for it. So basically what I do is I buy celery pretty much every week to juice. 
So what we do is we cut the top of the celery off and then I feed these to the boys and they are obsessed with them. But most people just chop this off and throw them out or they do juice them, but I just like to cut them off and give them to the boys. So, I mean, a celery is like $2, $2.50, but if you cut this off and give it to them, it's something you're gonna throw out anyway. Another thing that I do is I buy these Dutch carrots. This is only half the bunch, but this is what they look like. And they come with a top. So I just cut the top off. Most people will throw that out, but what I do is I put it in a glass of room temperature water. And that will last in this for like five days before it starts going bad. And I just feed this to the guinea pigs. So instead of throwing it out, which most people would do, the boys really like this. And then also another thing that I do is parsley. So I buy herbs, fresh herbs for my cooking, but there's no way that I use all of this. So I do the same thing, keeping it in a jar. And I also, sorry, I don't keep them in the fridge. I leave them out on the counter. That's the best way I've found that they last the longest. So I'll just give the boys little parts of this and I don't really include it in their food budget. And then when it comes to like snacks of fruit, um, I don't necessarily buy fruit for the guinea pigs, but we always have fruit in the house. So at the moment, or this week, we got blueberries. So we'll just eat the punnet and then we get to the end, we'll save a couple and then they can have them. And then once during the week, I'll cut up a couple of strawberries for the boys. And then also, I feel like everybody has apples in their house. So if you're eating an apple, I just usually cut like that part off and then I'll give the boys some apple as a snack and you don't have to give them the whole apple. But yeah, so I hope that gave you some ideas on what you can feed your guinea pigs. It's not too expensive um, when you really think about it, like $12.50, and I feel like I do it the expensive way. There are definitely cheaper ways that you can do it, um, but $12.50 to feed your guinea pigs for a week is a really good. And they can eat most of the stuff that you eat if you eat a lot of vegetables, like your celery tops and some of your herbs and your carrot tops, so the tripod diet. So just think of the things that you might be throwing out that you could be feeding your guinea pigs. So yes, that is all from us. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some ideas. I really want everybody to try fennel because my guinea pigs are obsessed with fennel and I'd really like to know how yours like it. It's cheap, it lasts for ages and it's just really good.